Hi darlings, so it's been a little while since I filmed and the reason why is as you can see in the background, um, different, right? We actually bought a house. I know, it's so exciting. We have been saving for so long and we've been living in a small space to save for a house of our own for our kids and um, it has been such a blessing but with that as you can see still got box in the back I put like a little plant there uh, I was just trying to do something guys like some aesthetic but like this is it but you can see like it's more space I do plan to make my own little separate space because right now I'm in my daughter's room because it's the only place that I can actually film right now because everything's not set up like we bought the house maybe three weeks ago but we've only moved in maybe a and a half maybe and so we still have things in boxes our couch is still being uh, made so there's still a lot of things we're getting together our beds aren't all the way up like my daughter's is but my son's my, our our bed isn't um uh, put together yet because my husband's just been you know he's the one setting this stuff up and uh he's been working as as have i so i say all to say bear with me while i get it together excited to just have this space and just you know create more content a new phase of life it's a new stage and we feel so blessed um, to be able to purchase a home because in california where we live it is hard um the houses are expensive the interest rates are higher than they were over the past three years so it really was like so stressful these last um like year i would say since we've been looking but like more like six months since we've been more diligent i have so many cool new things to show you guys so of course you know guys i try to test everything that i do have these are the beauties these are the new purchases that i have made and i've tried to do shorts of them because i haven't had time to fill and I got a few new things that I have tried out. So I can't wait to go over this whole look with you guys. I did use um, all these things in this look here. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. So I normally, my ride or die, eyebrow gel is the Dior Onset Brow and I use it in the color brown 03 no sorry 032 brown um, but it was out of stock like I couldn't get it on the Dior website I couldn't get it at Sephora and so I was like okay they're reformulating I'm running out let me try something else so this little beauty happened to just drop when I was looking for a replacement or something to try for my eyebrows as you see they're very scarce i should say and so i've tried a few rare beauty things that have never been a hit but let me tell you i found my replacement and i'm not going back i love it so much so i use these two in conjunction i figure let's just do it together so i will probably speed this up a little but i always use my um urban decay brow blade in conjunction with the gel to kind of keep everything together so i'll do it right now i'll speed it up so you don't have to like watch this whole painful process I feel like this is good eyebrows are uh, they are sisters and they are not twins so um, already you can see what an eyebrow can do now I did put on a little lip because I don't want to look completely dead this is the new um, release from Chantecaille and wild begonia OMG this here packaging is so cute also this color is fantastic it is that color that makes women of color look so good. This is the best Chantecaille lipstick I've ever owned. I mean, I definitely have been using this one quite a bit. It's got these purpley pinky hues to it. I just put a little bit on there and just blot it. It's hydrating. It doesn't smear everywhere. 
absolutely my favorite. It's got pigmentation, which you know sometimes Shantikai doesn't have. Oh, I love it. So this is one that I am loving. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on once the whole look is complete, but I at least want to show you what this looks like on me and yeah love it if you can still catch it and i'll put it in the links below i absolutely would so i asked a question on the community post asking my wonderful friends um subscribers what things what products they were interested in also if they were interested in the clay to poe holiday palette because i was like pretty sure i was gonna get it regardless of if you guys want to see it, I was gonna buy it. I was just wondering if you guys were interested too. But a few of you did um, comment and respond and most of the ones that did are kind of the ones who have been with me for a while who were just always so supportive and awesome that I just wanted to give them the products that they asked me to see. I only got a few comments and so I got them. So I did purchase the Hourglass um, three palette. Now I did customize it. I didn't really like the snake, so I opted for the jellyfish in this beautiful teal color. And this is the deeper shade. So this is the ambient lighting edit unlocked. I know they come out with a lot of these. It comes with a finishing powder. It comes with the blush and coral haze, um, metallic strobe powder. Um, I assume that's some type of highlight, a blush and sunbeam, a blush and mystic flush and a bronzer and solar bronze so these are all the colors very pretty i did try it on i think they're beautiful i tried it as blush and i tried it as eyeshadow i will say i like it better as a blush setting powder so we'll go over this today i also did get oh this gorgeous glade bow and i did a short on it but i didn't show the the wonderful front portion which is like an undersea pouch undersea like embossing on the pouch look at this oh my god i'm obsessed but mostly i'm obsessed you guys guys this packaging look at it like how could i say no this is in 501 visions of radiance and it is described on their website as a under the sea inspired holiday and i just thought this packaging is gorgeous. I'm sorry, this is probably gonna be my favorite packaging of all because we're talking about mermaids, which you already know, I love mermaids. Um, that is my happy place. Love that it's the packaging that you can refill because, you know, if I don't wanna use this palette, I can always put my other clay to bow palettes in here and just rock this gorgeous packaging. Oh, I'm obsessed, guys, obsessed. But even then, the colors, oh, I swatched them and I didn't want to ruin it. So you can see I went a long size, but as you can see these gorgeous colors, look at them. You have this beautiful fuchsia, brown, orange, and this pinky like shimmer color. There's no primer in here that I can see, not like the new palettes that they came out with. So I was okay with it. It's a really pretty palette and definitely one of the more pigmented of the palettes from Clay to Poe this last year. And then I did get a new concealer. Something about this drew me. Now the packaging's so cute. Look at the flowers, the Gucci um, under eye concealer. Now it is in the color, what is this? It's in 32W medium. But something about this drew me and I watched just a few reviews before I purchased it and I like that it stated it was for mature skin. I have a lot of concealers guys, I do. I have my Chanel Sublumage, which is one of my favorites. I have many of the Dior um, new releases, Chantecai concealer. I have a lot of concealers, but I gotta tell you, this one is my favorite. It's my favorite. It does not crease okay it is very light very airy yes you have to build it to get that coverage but it is gorgeous so since we're kind of going in a row i think i'll save this one for last because i want to do my eyes first but i'm going to go in order guys so <laughs> this video is going to be a little longer because we're going to be playing with a lot of things but i wanted to get all this content out to you as fast as I could because I got more things coming and I need to get this out. Guys, 
let's just play with this makeup. So we're gonna start with the eyes now. I wanted to start working on this clay to Poe palette. So first, let me just swatch everything for you. So these are the colors. So look how creamy, how buttery. I was actually surprised with this coloring, this color story, not this beautiful pinky purple, which I told you makes women of color look so good. And it matches very nicely to that clay, um, to the Chantecaille Wild Begonia and this beautiful like terracotta color. Oh, I'm just, I'm just loving it guys. I really am. So let's try to use all the colors. We're going to start with that beautiful orangish color. Okay. So we're going to start with this one here. And I was really impressed when I did initially try these on because they're very smooth, very creamy. Now I will have to show you some of the palettes it's kind of reminding me of. Like this reminds me a little bit like this orange color of the Tom Ford palette. I'll show you a swatch of that at the end. This one, as well as the hourglass, really play into each other because the hourglass actually has a lot of um, hues that are orangey in tone. It's got this beautiful sheen. We're going to go into that brown color here. I'm going to pack that here. Definitely the most pigmented color story I've ever seen from Clay de Poe, or at least in my collection, I should say. Take a little more of this color here, just to blend a little. Add that pretty color here. This this color also reminds me of another Tom Ford palette in that same kind of release with the peach haze. And I'm forgetting what the other one is called, but I will get those out. But this color kind of reminds me of it. And at first I thought this pink does not go with like these colors, but actually it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, so we'll take that purple color. I'm going to bring that down here. Okay. So now we've got that done and I think it looks good. So what I'm going to do now is I'll put my liner, my lashes, and then we're going to play with, um, going to play with the concealer. And then from there we will play with the, um, hourglass palette. Okay guys, so you know I'm rusty when I didn't use every single color there. I did put my liner and mascara on, but uh, we got to use that pink color. Use the Clay Depot little uh, brush that it comes with. And this is to miss a pretty little fishy. So cute. So I'm just going to it's very light, as you can see, like you barely really see this color show up and I'm okay with it. You know, I've got plenty of shimmer shine shades. I don't anticipate this being some type of Pat McGrath, um, Astro Blitz shade or something of that nature. So it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's just highlighting in the most elegant and beautiful way. I've been loving the Bobbi Brown um, Platinum Pink and Antique Rose um, Highlighter. It's the Dual Indent Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. Ever since I reviewed it, I use it like every day. I love this. It is so, so nice. 
Okay, so we have that now. What I'm going to do is go over this Gucci concealer, as you can see. It's got a nice little um, stick, but if you look at the consistency, look how thin it is. It's so thin, so it almost feels like water, and I love that about this. I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to take this, put this here, and add a little. So put about that. I'm going to clean this up here too. Put it all my little areas. Anywhere you want to highlight. I take my Clay de Beau, Clay de Peau, um, concealer brush. Now I don't always use this brush. Sometimes when I'm rushing to work, I just use my fingers, guys, and it works just fabulously. I have it like together in the next few weeks. I have a makeup a vanity that I plan on doing most of my makeup in my room because um, it's got a lot of space. It's a, obviously a little easier for me to do things there. And um, because we don't have an extra room, we just have like our room, the kids' rooms. Um, and we were looking for a place with a loft, but like nothing in the price range we were looking for. Cause I'm gonna be honest, like the prices of the houses are so expensive, especially with the interest rates being what they are. We, you know, I don't want to be house poor, you know, like don't get me wrong. Like this, this mortgage is like still an adjustment but I was not gonna do more than what we could really afford. I just refused to do that to us as a family. You know, the kids have things, we have things, life happens, and you don't wanna do that to yourself, you know? So as you can see, look at that. Just flawless looking. It gives the most nice finish. It really does. It looks effortless. And if you feel like, you know, like right now, like I feel like there's a little more darkness there. I'll just put a little bit more. And it blends so nicely into your first initial application. Feel like cakey. I usually don't even feel like I need to re reapply anymore. But that's because I normally do like, I think, I normally do like what I'm doing now. Like I do two, two coats of it. That's it. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Flawless finish. I love it so much. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do my Chantecai, um Hazel Future Skin. I love this. It is probably my most like skin looking foundation that I own. I really feel like it gives me a nice coverage it's not too much it is a nice color option I was gonna do my clay de Peau, but kind of forgot I was gonna use that and in my mind I was really gonna use this one so that's what we're gonna do and now let's get to hourglass okay so they have these different colors and I think what I want to do is use this here um, setting powder it does have a little bit of um, like a glitter sheen to it, but I'll show you like, let me show you if you can see, but I think what it does, oh, what happened there? Oh no, it's got some kind of, it's got some kind of coloring on this brush. Okay, not my ideal, but like there's some color on that brush that sort of to mess with me. So I'm just gonna do this side so you can see what that kind of looks like. Like buffing it into the skin and see if it gives me like, like what I see are visible like glitter particles, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but I do. It's not terrible. And if I'm looking at afar at my face, like look at this side versus this side, I feel like it gives me a little bit more color too. I don't know if you guys see it, but I feel like it, Give you a little more color. It's nice. I'm gonna swatch these for you guys too. But I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off my face. 
because we'll start to do the other colors. I did use this and I did like it when I wore this, when I tried it on initially, when I wore it to work. Of course, when I'm going to work, like I don't spend as much time as I do here with you guys. Like, And comparison, I'm gonna show you this here. Okay, so that's like the coloring. Normally do my Dior Backstage <clears throat> um, Face and Body Powder. It is so nice, it's like a gel texture. It's, it's just so creamy, it's so buttery. It's my favorite setting powder. I just put it where I need it. I'll put that alongside there so you can see like the color difference. So this is a 3N, that's my color. They're just slightly brighter. I don't think, I wonder if you can see it, like it's slightly brighter. Mm-hmm. So I think if you're my tone, this setting powder will work really nicely on you. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the swatches. Setting powder, the first row. This is the highlighter the bottom row from left to right that's gorgeous color the pinky shade in the middle and the bronzer so happily surprised with the colors that these came it almost reminds me of like a summer palette though with these pretty pinks and oranges you know i just thought oh this is really pretty really pigmented also reminds me a little bit of Tom Ford, um, that palette in general. So I can't wait to like swatch alongside of these things because I think you need to see if you have those palettes, maybe, you know, I don't know. Of course, uh, that palette is a eyeshadow, but it reminded me a lot of it. So let's start with the bronzer. I typically on a day to day basis, I'll use the Hermes Atlas color. That is my favorite. I've got so much of it left and i'll swatch it here so you can see but it's really light this one also feels almost like a gel texture yes it is pricey but you know what? if you wear makeup every day you'll probably still have it for at least two years so you know so we're going to get going to this bronzer here oh and i was going to show you what that looks like too so in comparison to that bronzer the hermes one the atlas this is much lighter darker so i'm going to go very lightly and once again that's why it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a summer palette because this is such a bronzed look but it's so pretty guys like this could be a really pretty like one and done shadow um i remember when i tried hourglass the one thing i did like was their primer i would buy that all the time over and over and then when i stopped really using primers when my skin started to change you know start to change in texture when i got older they were like these are very you know at sephora these are very nice for aging skin for dry skin but you guys i didn't feel like that like i didn't i didn't feel like when i tried it it just made me look really i don't know it gave me a weird look and i just wasn't fond of it so i didn't end up purchasing it i just tried it on my skin and i didn't end up going back and i just didn't try anymore since so i'm really glad that camera shy 03 asked me very specifically to try this out um so yeah this is the look it's really pretty it looks really ethereal looking it looks airbrushed this is a beautiful palette i really 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 am happy i you told me to get this because or asked me to review it because i am loving okay so how am i going to do this so i think what we'll do i'm going to try this color here maybe on the top portion here so you can see it you can see it's very pigmented so we'll start there okay and that color that's this color here kind of like that pinky almost raspberry kind of feels like that kind of swirly color it's really pretty so I'm gonna put it along here very pretty very pigmented and then let's do that pretty like orange color oh, so pretty so pretty here on this side
Ooh. Okay, so you see too much, very pigmented. So it doesn't overemphasize texture. It's really pretty, but extremely pigmented, guys. Ooh. And I'm gonna use that deepest color, not the deepest color, but kind of like that strawberry color here. Strawberry color. I'm gonna put them on the apples of my cheeks. <laughs> so you can see that beautiful orange color, that pretty almost raspberry strawberry color that strawberry look that was going around i think it's fall now so i think that's over and then that pretty plummy color which i don't know if it's plummy per se but it's kind of like like i said like that coloring that i'm loving like that clay dupo color and like a deeper version so this is the strobe lighting uh oh i need to Have to charge this, probably. So pretty. Okay guys, my battery's about to die. I'm gonna charge it and I'll be back with my final thought. This is the finished look, guys. I love it. I love the finish. I love the colors. I did throw on a little bit of my Net Rose Natural from Chanel, which they did reformulate, and I will do a separate review on if there's a difference or not, because I have to have a backup of that color. This is my favorite over the Wild Bag Nonia from Chantecaille, and I put a little setting spray. Love, love, love. So let's talk about the similar newer releases. So this is the Chanel Et Beige, um, Beige Et Corel, which you know I did a review on. It is a gorgeous, 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 one of my favorites coloring. And I thought, let me just put it with on the side here. This is the Hourglass color. So as you can see, this definitely leans um, not as, I would say, shimmery. It definitely leans a little lighter, not as pigmented. The Hourglass definitely has a lot of sheen. This one does, it has like a subtle sheen, but definitely not anywhere near the same. I'm gonna go over it one more time. But you can see they're in a similar family, but they're not the same. Let's look at the um, Tom Ford. This is in Peach Dawn. Now, right off the bat, these colors were reminding me of the story, so I'm gonna put them right here. And then I'll use that red color, because that really is like the only other color I was thinking of. Okay, so this is definitely similar to the Hourglass blushes there. And I do find that you can use the Tom Ford, this particular what to dry formula. I've used it on my cheeks as a blush. And so this is very similar, but I think, and let's just put that one there right next to it. It's still got a little more red in hue versus like that very kind of orange color. Then from the Chantecai palette, this is oh no no sorry this is the other tom ford palette in hazy sensuality but this color was reminding me of the chantecai purplish color and this color i have used on my cheeks as a blush it's so pretty uh oh i went over top of it so this is that color let me get that chantecai um sorry the uh oh lord de poe so let me get a little pick up that on the side and put it I don't want to take anything over but here okay so you can see those are almost the same little more of a purple versus this one being a little deeper of like a purple uh, honestly they're so close they really are so close as you can see I can't even say like how much variation of difference but this one's definitely brighter maybe has a little a little slight more pink shift to it but both beautiful but those 
are the ones that kind of reminded me of each other and so yeah i hope this review helped i have to tell you i love everything that i picked up i told you those couple things are my holy grail definitely the rare beauty the gucci are my jams and i will not stop repurchasing these i'm so glad i purchased an hourglass of all the things to choose i chose this ambient unlocked option because all the colors are gorgeous the finishes are beautiful it is a wonderful travel palette in my personal opinion or if you're someone who just wants a, a beautiful like glow to the skin this is gorgeous very gorgeous definitely worth it and of course love this if nothing else the packaging has sold me but the eyeshadow itself is really pretty like is it groundbreaking the color story absolutely not we've seen them before but i think for clay de poe i think it's such a beautiful color and they really kind of cater to women of color like this is the prettiest color like color story i should say very pigmented i love it so darlings i do have some more things coming to me that you have requested um also just some new things in general um yeah so i'm going to try and get my situation together with all the moving stuff but <sighs> bear with me it's coming it is coming guys I just continue to do this content and more content reusing some of these things so i can give you some more ways to play with this makeup because i use it on a daily basis and i want to show you how you can do it too all right, darlings, so I hope you have a great day, a wonderful week, and I'll catch you in the next ones.